Hello, you might know that I'm Chris on the longest way. I've been trying to walk back from China to my home in Germany. Today is July the 7th, 2022, and we are here on the road looking at cows. What is the cow thinking about as she's eating the grass? Does she know she has horns and they are quite pointy? What is her relationship with the other cows? Does she know that I am not a cow? Or am I just a cow on two legs to her? We are walking, the caboose and I, and the road is quite difficult. It might not look like it when there is no traffic around, but there is no curb, no emergency lane, nothing for the one who walks. It's just cars, cars, vans, trucks, and buses. Where is this van going? What is the aim of the van? Is it coming from somewhere? Or is it going somewhere? Does the cow know the van is not a cow? There's a question that we ask ourselves. Where must the walker go? There's no space for the walker. It's a time of steel. Humanity in boxes, moving at breakneck speed. And it is unsure where we are going. Are we going somewhere? Are we running from something? Where does all the steel come from? And why do people live in boxes and move in boxes? These are the thoughts of the walker on the narrow road. Nature is indifferent to the walker, to the boxes, and to the cow that does not know that she is a cow. We have entered a small village with an unknown name. Or maybe it has three names. A Romanian name, a Hungarian name, and a Saxon name. There are not many cars in this village. Life is slower and more suited to the walker. There is a church, evangelical church, but it is up there behind a bunch of steps. Is there another way? 
Is the church accessible? We will soon find out in this village with no name. Of course, there was a way up here. But as so often in life, there are more obstacles on the way, for this is a fortified church. The Saxons built it not only for religious purposes, but also to protect themselves inside the church. So the question is, how do we get into the church? As we walk around the church, we come to a place where there's German Holzstock, wooden stick. What does it mean? Were the Saxons trying to tell us something? Did we need to find a wooden stick. Would our wooden stick from Iran be a good enough wooden stick for this church? We come to a door. As so often in life, there are obstacles, but there are also doors. Now the question is, can we open the door? And we are still not in the church. It is a mystery. And yet the truth must be somewhere here. What were those Saxons trying to hide from us? What were the outhouses doing there, with no doors? Where would we have to go? As so often in life, there were obstacles and doors and mysteries. We have climbed the tower with a German inscription and we did not bring a wooden stick but we brought a tripod hoping that this will be good enough. Many have come before us leaving their names and the dates on the walls of the tower. One of them was a loser Did he find happiness in this place, the loser? And how many found the way in to the fortified church? Or did they stay outside like us? Looking at God's own house from behind high walls just like many centuries ago when the Saxons were protecting themselves. We ended up spending more than two hours with the church, which might sound like a long time, but the church has been here for several hundred years. There is a water fountain, it 
says no drinking water and there is no water at all so the sign is right it is no drinking water because there is no water the point of entry of the church remains a mystery to this moment I'm sure there is a door hidden somewhere but it did not want to reveal itself at this time this is the ecstatic truth the church is there and we are there but we are incompatible we spent all this time together but separate and then we leave going about our business the church staying the caboose and I moving along in the cosmos where will we sleep tonight we do not know but the church she knows she will sleep here and so we say goodbye to the church but she does not listen a bit further down the road we find a strange beast a dog that looks like it is not made for this environment too thick is its fur too hot is he feeling under the sun and yet he is a kind soul or she no he is a boy and a good boy just like so often in life the good boys don't have it easy the sun is too hot the strangers do not have any food or they do not want to give it to him are you a good boy yes you are do you want food no but i don't have any this is one of the tragedies of life and i must go the walker must go in this direction It is unclear why he is with us. We are already a few miles from his home and only getting further away with every step. And yet he has made the decision to come with us so far. There is no promise of food, of water or of anything. Only the silent companionship of the walker, walking side by side. And maybe that is just what he was looking for. And yet the question remains, is somebody waiting for him in the village? Does he have a name? A cow may not have a name. A chicken, because of the stupidity in its eyes, may not have a name. But a dog cannot not have a name. And so we have chosen to call him Werner. Werner, are you ready? The planet is spinning through the cosmos. And the journey goes on with or without Werner. I do not know what to do. about Werner he is a good dog no doubt about that but I do not need or want a dog so I have not given him any food or extra attention all day as to not encourage him 
but Werner has been relentless in his pursuit, following me and the caboose for hours. And I do not know what to do. There is no way to make Werner understand that we are not partners, we are not companions. I travel alone. I will set up my tent here under this tree and I will have my dinner and it will pierce my heart and make it bleed but I will not share my food with Werner because I cannot encourage him or cause any misunderstandings. Werner is like the cow or like the church. You meet a cow, you go to a church, you pet a dog, and it's like comets meeting in a solar system. There is a moment of intense light when the tails meet, but after that, Every comet goes back to the blackness and continues on their own way.